After having completed the installation, all of the adjustments required for the proper functionality of the EPS unit can be carried out. Start with the procedure for resetting the rear derailleur. Position the front derailleur on the largest chain ring and set the rear derailleur to the 11th sprocket or the 10th if you're unable to bring it to the 11th. Simultaneously press two mode buttons until the blue LED indicator turns on. About six seconds. Press the internal shifter lever, bring the rear derailleur to the second sprocket and adjust the position of the rear derailleur using the control levers. While making sure that the chain is centered upon the sprocket, press the right mode button to save the second sprocket position. The white LED indicator will turn on to confirm that the position has been saved. At this point, press lever two next to the brake and set the rear derailleur to the 10th sprocket. The rear derailleur's travel speed varies according to its position on the various sprockets, so be careful not to go beyond the 10th sprocket. Use the control levers to adjust the position of the rear derailleur, making sure that the chain is centered on the sprocket, and press the right mode button to save the 10th sprocket position. The blue LED indicator will flash to confirm that the position has been saved and that the procedure has been successfully completed. After having reset the rear derailleur and set it to the 11th sprocket, it is extremely important to adjust the travel limit screw, which ensures that the rear derailleur will never move inward to the point of interfering with the spokes of the rear wheel. Tighten the screw until it makes contact, then loosen it by half a turn. The adjustment of the rear derailleur's balance requires the adjustment of the correct distance between the upper idler wheel and the 11th sprocket. The front derailleur must be set to the smallest chain ring. The adjustment screw is at the same position as the mechanical rear derailleurs. The distance should be between 5 and 7 millimeters. At this point, it is necessary to reset the front derailleur by setting the front derailleur to the smallest chain ring and the rear derailleur to the 11th sprocket, or rather, the largest. Like when resetting the rear derailleur, it is necessary to press the two mode buttons simultaneously until the blue LED indicator turns on, about six seconds. But in this case, it is necessary to operate the front derailleur control levers so that the distance between the chain and the internal surface of the dropout is set to about 0.5 millimeters. Press the left mode button. The blue LED indicator will flash to confirm that the position has been saved and that the procedure has been successfully completed. Warning: In order to complete the reset procedure, it is necessary to press one of the mode buttons briefly. If this is not done, the system will remain in standby and the reset procedure will not be concluded. At this point, carry out a road test to verify the system's proper functionality.